Solo sketches with Joe. Do, 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 do. Halloween. <gasps> Whoa. Spooky night to be doing a sketch show. Especially by yourself. Didn't you think to invite anyone else to be in the show? Shut the fuck up. This is a low budget sketch show, okay? We can barely afford the guy who's filming this. That's why he's only doing half the sketches because we can't afford to pay him, right? All right, so a lot of these sketches are gonna rely primarily on writing and performance since they'll look like shit. Okay, well now that we've established a baseline for low expectations, I think we should figure a way out of here. Especially because we can't afford good props or costumes. Agreed. You go get it. Me? You just yelled at me! Joe, Joe, listen. What is it, Joe? I think if we work together, we can all open that door and fight whatever's on the outside. Let's do it. Only thing is, none of us can be standing near each other or next to each other while we do it. Right, we all individually walk to the door, but just far enough away that no one else's heads or shoulders can be seen. That's a smart plan. Let's go. Okay, on the count of how many of us there are. Three. Why would you phrase it like that? One. Two. Three. Oh no. It can't be. It is. Hello, Joe. It's me. You. <laughs> Man, that Mitch Hedberg is funny. Good evening and welcome to the very first episode of Solo Sketch of the Joe. Allow me to introduce myself, I'm your host, Elvira. You can tell it's me because of my milky white skin and huge teeth. Now this is the first ever episode of Solo Sketches with Joe, a show where Joe plays all the characters. It's not an ego thing. It's just a pain in the ass trying to get a group of people together to film a sketch. Any hoozles, we thought for the very first episode of Solo Sketches with Joe, we'd make it spookily themed, full of frights and laughs normally reserved for a Ryan Murphy show. If you got the reference, you fucking loved it. He's the one who made American Horror Story. You know, the show with all the rape. So we invite you to join us on the first episode of Solo Sketches with Joe after a word from our sponsors, if you dare. <laughs> Thriller. Hey gang, are you fat? Is your child possessed by the devil? That sounds rough. And that's why I'm here, to introduce you to a new workout program that'll help you lose weight and get rid of the evil inside your child. It's called Exercise Your Demons. Come on out, Toby. As you can see, my son's possessed by the devil, and I have a bit of a gut. But by the end of my workout program, both those things won't be true anymore. With my simple workout, you can lose weight and get your child back from the hellish underworld he's trapped in. Let's start with the power of Christ compels you crunches. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. <laughs> nice try, devil, but my mom hated giving blowjobs. Okay, let's go. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> it burns. Oh yeah, feel the burn. Boy, that really worked my core. And it shook the devil to his core. You're doing great and you're almost there. Let's move on to the genuflecting jumping jacks. Make sure your devil child can see you while you're doing it. They hate the sight of Christ. You left your mother to die. You did it. <laughs> I don't think so, devil. My mom died in a car crash. 
and the court settlement ruled it was the other driver's fault. Okay, let's go! The Lord is my shepherd! The Lord is my shepherd! <laughs> We're really working up a sweat here. Let's close it out with some Lord's Prayer lunges. Now form is key here, so make sure to keep your back straight and your faith strong. Okay, let's go! Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Getting weaker. No! For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. <laughs> Daddy! Daddy, what happened? He did it, and in less than three minutes. So if you want a fantastic body and your child back from the grips of Satan, use my workout program, Exercise Your Demons. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, let's go. Yeah, poker night, just us boys, right? Yeah, playing poker with guys is fun. I hate my wife. Yeah, this is just us guys here, we can, uh, Speak freely, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like where this is going. Okay, um, I'm here what you gotta okay. say. Anyone here ever, uh, ass fuck a woman? Oh, oh, oh. oh hell yeah. <laughs> yeah! I enjoy this type of conversation. See, this is why I come to poker. So we can talk like this. <laughs> I hate my wife. Oh. I mean, uh... This is just us boys. Anyone here, uh, attract the kids? <laughs> James, you're, you're a crazy man. Come on, it's just us boys. James, you've always been the wild one in the group. That's for sure. Yes. <laughs> okay, 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 no, I can top that, I can top that. Anyone here ever, uh, fuck a dead body? Oh, uh, boo. boo. Come on. P.U. Come on, that's an easy one. Everyone's tried it once, Dave. All right, all right. I hate my wife. Yeah, I, I gotta admit, guys, I haven't. Of course, Brian hasn't. The prude of the group. My wife sucks. All right, but hang on. What about being attracted to kids? No. <laughs> Typical Brian. I know, I know. Boring guy alert. <laughs> I call. Okay, okay, I got one, I got one. Anyone here ever filmed a snuff film? Yeah. Uh, involving a family member. Oh, man. You may have even top me with that one, Dave. You may have. <laughs> We're men. Yeah, I'm telling you, men. I call. And let me guess, Brian's never done it. Oh, boo. boo. Come on, Brian, you must have done something crazy in your life. Yeah, I mean, it's just us boys. Yeah, come on. Tell us something weird you've done sexually. All right, well, there is one thing. Oh, yes, here we go. I wish my wife was dead. I mean, you know, it's not as crazy as you guys, but uh, one time, I kissed a guy. James, you okay? Yeah, I just, uh... It's getting late, so I should probably, uh... Should probably take off. Don't blame me, James. It's okay. I just, uh... I need to get home. Dude. What? Brian, what the fuck? It's... It's cool, man. You didn't know... I didn't know what? James is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. He, he hates gay people. Oh, I didn't... You didn't know. It's okay. Well, I just feel like a sour bag of grapes now. Should I call him tomorrow to apologize? Or... I'd wait till tomorrow night to call him. Uh, he's gonna be protesting a soldier's funeral during the day tomorrow, you know. Because that's how you stop gay people from existing. No, I know. I've read the CDC guidelines. Hey, it's all good. Let's just play some cards. Is it my deal? I, uh... Also fucked a horse once. Mood's kind of killed for that kind of talk.
Hey, Brian. It's okay, dude. It'll all blow over. Okay. Also, uh... I fucked a guy once, so I get it. Really? Really. Thanks. Okay. I got five pairs, so I automatically win. Oh. Damn it. I hate when we play with four decks. Oh, what a creepy couple sketches. Nothing scarier than demons, workouts, and casual pedophiles. Hey, it's me again, your host, Elvira. You can tell it's me because of my huge hair and spooky boobs. Now we just have a couple more scary sketches for you, so stay tuned. Which isn't hard, because this is ad-free. Unless you're watching on the Patreon, in which case it's still ad-free, but if you subscribe, you get bonus content and free tickets to Joe's shows. <laughs> Boy, the irony that this technically was an ad for subscribing to the Patreon, but I squeezed it into the show. <laughs> well, now that you've sat through the sneaky ad, let's get back to solo sketches with Joe. Only on CBS. Huh? My new roommate? Ah, uh, kind of sucks, because he's an actor. Well, he just got cast in a horror movie as character revealed in a shot to induce a jump scare, so he's been rehearsing all week. Yeah, it's like every time I turn a corner, he... Made oatmeal. Want some? Can I take a leak when you're done? Mind if I throw one pair of underwear in? Why are you always eating oatmeal? I think I was in there. Ah, ah, ah! I have to get out of here. Where are you going? I don't know. I just, I have to get out of here. I have to get away from you. Okay, well, on your way back, could you pick up some oatmeal? We're, uh, we're all out. My wife died a tragic death, eaten by piranhas on a vacation to the Amazon. Her ghost followed me back here, to our basement apartment in Chicago, Illinois. In honor of her memory, she always wanted me to offer money to seven strangers in exchange for staying the night in the haunted place. So it works out that she died and her ghost now haunts here. Tonight shall be a ghouly ghastly night, and I can't wait to witness the horror that will unfold. <coughs> Hey, how long have you been standing there? Just about halfway through your monologue. Well, welcome! to the haunted apartment on Ashland Avenue. 
what was the thunder sounds? It's, it's actually kind of a nice day out, so I have to make them myself. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, also, weren't those blinds down in the last scene? It must be a continuity error or something. I guess that's what happens when you switch director mid-scene. <laughs> you can definitely tell a difference. Um, so where's everyone else? Well, you were the only one who responded to the Craigslist ad. So, it's just me? Just you, yeah. But enough with the pleasantries. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm your host, Vincent Price is right, and I'm totally not the same guy who introduced the show at the beginning. What show? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> okay, so what's the deal again? I stay here the night and I get a hundred dollars? That's right. A hundred bucks for whoever can stay the night in my haunted apartment. Yeah, that's fine. I just, I need to get out of my place and get the feeling this whole haunted thing is bogus anyway. Bogus? It's not bogus. So that's a bedroom then? Why, yes it is, but beware, for inside is the haunted full-size mattress with no box spring. Okay, what else is haunted? Well, the oven is very haunted. Let me show you. Watch this. Ooh. Oh, they're angry today. <laughs> okay. So the ghost chose the oven as their hiding spot? Well, there's also the haunted freezer. Move. Ooh. Oh, cold ghosts are the scariest ones. Ooh. Oops. Sorry. Okay, so what time should I check out tomorrow? You think you'll survive the night? <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling I'll be fine. Perhaps. Or perhaps, maybe, you'll be stuck here. For once you enter, you may never leave. And then, you'll have to split rent and utilities with me! <laughs> Can I ask? Yeah, just a quick question. Shoot. Are you looking for a roommate? Is that what's happening here? No! I'm trying to scare you and then pay you if you survive the night! <laughs> Why do you sound like Don Pardo now? I don't! Say Molly Shannon real quick. Molly Shannon! <laughs> okay. Musical guest, Sinead O'Connor! Uh-huh. And your host, John Ham. Ladies and gentlemen, John Ham. Hi there. I was on Mad Men. <laughs> what? Why is he part of this now? He's included in the rent! Can you stop talking like that? Jim Brewer! Okay. Boom shakalaka! No, wait, wait! What? Do you like the place? I mean, I think you could use a dishwasher. No, I know. Doing them by hand, I hate it. It's a pain in the ass. I'm handsome. All right, well. Good luck finding a roommate. Thanks. You know, it's just, it's so hard finding someone who's willing to live in a haunted apartment. Yeah, can I make a suggestion? Don't advertise this as getting a hundred dollars to spend the night in a haunted place. That's not the best live with me pitch. Yeah, that's what I told him too. All right, well, see you guys. Hey, wait, wait, what? This is just us boys here. Anyone here uh, attract the kids? Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> what? We're ending this with John Hamm saying he's a pedophile? Well, that was a forced in callback. Maybe Joe should take some improved classes. <laughs> What's up, it's me, Elvira. You can tell because of my black dress and the fact that I'm turning you on at the age of 13. Well, what an episode it's been of solo sketches with Joe. I need a cup of Joe just to stay awake. <laughs> oh, and how about that exercise your demon sketch? I thought it sucked. <laughs> oh God, I'm so tired of making puns. I used to do stand up and it was more experimental, but Tales from the Crypt just paid so well and now look at me. 
and the 7,000 year old sell out on a YouTube show. I was in an improv group with Aristophanes. I opened for Jesus Christ at the Sermon on the Mount. I was a duo with Mark Twain on his That N Word's Crazy Tour. Of course, I didn't care for the fact that the entire time he just pointed at me and called me a crazy N Word. Also, I think I might be Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Anyhow, without further ado, let's finish up this episode of Solo Sketches with Joe. Ah! <laughs> Tales from the Crypt, I'm Elvira. What a day. I hear ya. I didn't get a single booking today. Not one. It's a rough time for clowns. Dude, I got in this to entertain kids. 70 to 78? No problems. It was the golden era for clowning. And then, Gacy gets arrested. Tell me about it. So now, no one wants clowns because one guy, one guy, had to go out and murder fuck a bunch of people. It ain't fair. So the 80s, a dead decade for clowning. Then 88 and 89 roll around, people forget about Gacy, they start booking clowns again, and then, boom! It runs as a miniseries on ABC. And of course, they have to make it a scary clown. Yep. And they didn't get just any actor either, they got Tim motherfucking Curry. That guy's a goddamn gem. Rocky Horror Picture Show, Clue. Not to mention Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. So, of course, he delivers a terrifying performance, and now, people are back to being scared of clowns again. It's a goddamn shame. I mean, when are people gonna realize we're just trying to make them fucking happy? No one's out here trying to fuck kill nobody. Sing it, sister. I mean, dolls are scary. Ventriloquist dummies are scary. But I don't see American Girl or Jeff Dunham taking a hit. Probably because they don't exist since 1990. Ah, what can you do? Maybe you should go back to having a day job. I can't hold down a day job. Why not? Here, I'll show you. I got a camera crew with me at all times. It's like a comedy style documentary thing. See? Oh! Well, that's not derivative. This style of comedy is really funny and not overplayed. Quick statement before cutting away to create comedy out of editing rather than dialogue. That's the show. I'm Elvira. Or at least, I'm wearing her skin. Subscribe to the Patreon at the link below to get free tickets to Joe's shows, as well as behind-the-scenes footage of each episode. Would you subscribe to my Patreon? I'd subscribe to my Patreon. Episodes drop last Monday of the month. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a woman by the name of Elvira. She was a late-night horror TV show host. People haven't heard from her in a little bit. Just want to know if you had any information about her. No. Uh-uh. Oh wait, was she a great big fat person? Yes sir, she was uh, she was a big girl. I think I might have seen her in my creepy laundry room in the back. You may want to go check it out. Thank you so much for your help. Shoot, forgot my night vision goggles, but should be okay. <laughs>